Six years of hard work in the garage plus two weeks of test flights. And it's finished. Now residents of the Siberian town of Novosibirsk are having to get used to seeing a helicopter-like machine parked in the courtyard of their neighbor, engineer Boris Palavinkin. The aircraft, also known among aviators as an autogyro or a gyroplane, is not just a hybrid of a helicopter and an airplane. But the engineer thinks it's high time someone came up with some improvements in its design. This, oh. The rotor is working with an adjustable pitch in this machine, and that is why it can take off and land vertically. There are no successful findings in this field anywhere at the moment. Boris built his version from pieces scavenged from various places. The autogyro's wheels come from a wheelbarrow, the safety belts from his own car, and the control sticks were found in a dump. The creative engineer claims his gyroplane is a step forward, as it has improved direct vertical takeoff and landing abilities. I believe that lately there has been no advance in small aircraft construction, neither in Russia nor abroad. No headway has been made. Only the models of the 70s are being produced now. The machine has already seen some 30 successful flights and is now waiting for a manufacturer prepared to produce it. Lavinkin says his aircraft can be used for both civilian and military purposes. He also hopes it will inspire younger generations of flight enthusiasts. Artem Ganin, Anton Anisimov, Russia Today.